Okay, hi everybody. Uh, today I'll show you how to uh, work around two uh, two annoying features of Ubuntu. Now Ubuntu twenty point oh four, I love it. It's kind of fast and it's it's better than its previous versions really. But it has got two annoying features which I really hate. And today I'll show you how to find your way around those uh, those two those two features. Okay, so the first feature I'm talking about is that when you are on your desktop like so the way you see me uh, the way you see me here you can't use your arrow keys to navigate so i'm i'm pressing my up down right left arrow key and nothing happens right um if i if you were to be inside the file manager you can use your arrow keys to uh, switch from one folder to the other and so on and you can use enter key to um get inside a folder and backspace key to get uh, get back where you uh, started from but all this doesn't work when you are on your desktop in this manner right so i can't use my arrow keys to activate any of these icons this icon or this icon nothing is happening now let's say even if i were to select one of these icons using my mouse click and if i click enter nothing happens so it's like the keyboard <laughs> goes completely dead if you're on your um, desktop right okay uh, that's one of the uh, annoying characteristics of Ubuntu 20.04 the other is um, using the launchers so let's say um, <clears throat> let's say here's a terminal right I can remove terminal from the favorites and I can even add it let's say I want to go to the t terminal and I search for terminal this way and terminal gets over here and I can I can right click and I can click add to favorites when this happens adding to favorite means that terminal even though you close it the terminal is permanently stationed here in the launcher that's what I mean by adding to the favorites and that's fine but it doesn't work for some other softwares for example Mathematica so if I were to open Mathematica and I don't see any options to add to favorites. So if I if I close Mathematica, it just goes away. It's not there anymore. So I can't add the Mathematica uh, icon to this uh, to the launcher. And I'll address these two problems um, today. So the key, the key to solving these two problems is to install the Cinnamon desktop environment um, available for Ubuntu. So there are, this is the basic, the, the desktop environment I'm working, uh, I'm working with right now is the basic default one that comes in with the Ubuntu pre-installed, you know, right out of the box. So there are, but there are so many alternative uh, desktop environments for Ubuntu and you can just go to Chrome and um, you can simply uh, type uh, desktop environ environments for Ubuntu 20.04 and let's go for the first very link okay and the one I love the one that solved these two problems was uh, was the cinnamon desktop environment okay this one so how do you install it let's click this link and um, well basically this is the command you just enter this command into the terminal open the terminal over here enter this command over here and uh, the cinnamon desktop environment will be installed so I'll assume from now on that you have already done it okay you have installed the cinnamon desktop environment once you have done it to go into that environment all you have to do is you have to uh, you have to log out you log out and um, you log out and then you uh, re-log in okay you try to log in and while trying to uh, while trying to log in when you enter your password that's where you can choose which desktop environment you want to use when you log in you know so once you log out then you while you're entering your password you choose cinnamon desktop environment and you get back you log back in into ubuntu in the cinnamon environment and okay welcome back guys so um 
I have logged back in in the cinnamon environment and um, that's why uh, as you can see it looks kind of different because it's a different desktop environment and um, I could not show you how to you know the step when I entered the password and choose cinnamon because if I do that um, prior to doing it I'll have to log out and if I log out the the, the screen capturing software uh, that I'm using to record this video will stop functioning so but <clears throat> but yeah you can do it it's not it's not difficult okay once I'm in the cinnamon desktop environment it becomes pretty easy so um, here you can see that um, my keyboard has become active I'm pressing my up down arrow keys and I can see that um, the correct icons are being selected and if I try to press enter uh, it even works it, it opens the desk um, the, the folder over here or um, you know everything works so even the menu key the right click menu key which is the shortcut of which is shift plus f10 even that works okay so everything is fine cinnamon works like charm and the other one the other problem we were uh, facing was the creation of launcher right so um, I worked with Mathematica that's the example I showed and you have to you have to somehow learn what is the terminal command of that particular software in my case it's simply Mathematica it will open the software right okay so this works this command Mathematica works so um, all I have to do is again right click in this menu I have to uh, select create a new launcher over here the name you can give any any name that's not a problem command is simply Mathematica the command we entered inside the terminal exactly that command Mathematica and um, click OK okay and just go yes and here is a here's a launcher and now you click on the launcher the software launches and then now you can see you see this option pin to panel okay and now you can close it and you can see that Mathematica has been permanently pinned to this launcher or panel and you can also delete this you can keep it you can leave it uh, there or if you want you can just remove it and it, it just remains all the time okay so cinnamon works great uh, and uh, it it solves these two annoying features of ubuntu 20.04 okay all right goodbye for now